Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So we are still working on the questions about the GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, new EU law going into effect May 25th, 2018, impacts anybody who sends email, commercial email to the EU or processes data about natural persons who reside in the EU. So today's question is, what are you required to do to protect data subjects, personal data under the GDPR? Okay, so data protection has to be by design and default. So, and what is the right level and type of protection in your situation? Comes down to the cost, the available technology, the purpose of, uh, the purpose for which you are processing or using people's data. Um, and you must implement the appropriate technical and organizational measures to protect personal data. Um, and then by default, only the data that is necessary for each purpose should be processed. So the law says don't collect data that you don't need. And it also says don't process data that's not necessary to get the information or answers you need. Um, and then you must maintain a record of all your processing activities, um, but this may not apply to companies who have less than 250 employees, um, unless there's a high risk to the data subjects um, data. So, um, so look at what you're doing and ensure that you are taking the appropriate level uh, or implementing the appropriate level of security to protect their data depending on the risk involved in the event that there is a data breach. Um, and then uh, when it comes to processing or accessing people's personal data, only allow those who need access to have access. So pretty self-explanatory, um, but you know these are often things that I tell people to do anyway, especially when it comes to only having people who need access to the data have access or only asking for the information that you need to do the work you need to do on behalf of the person. So this is just making it law, at least in regards to natural people who live in the, in the EU. So uh, this is a complicated law. It's 260 pages long. I don't recommend reading it unless you're required to. If you have questions about it, you can shoot me an email or contact an internet attorney in your community. Of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship. It's merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, go hire somebody. That's all I have on this topic for now. Please subscribe to the channel. I put out new content every week. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.